Okay, another thing is about our transport network, or say a barrier network. Ah, barrier network. On the left side is the barrier network or transport network for the 4G, okay, LT, uh, typical, okay, like this. Ah. On the, between the aggregation layer and the core layer, it is the layer three. Uh, layer three means that this uh, node can intercommunicate with each other directly, okay? And between the aggregation layer and the access layer, it is the uh, layer two, uh, layer two. Layer two means that this node cannot uh, communicate directly, okay? They need to communicate through layer three, uh, layer three, okay? If this one and this one they want to communicate, they need to go through the aggregation layer node. Okay. So we call it a layer two. Uh, it's something like uh, data link layer. So this is a, uh, for old configuration like uh, LTE network like this. Uh, let's see. Uh, if one mobile has two connections, one is for 5G new radio, another is to LTE. Uh, they are having the simultaneous data stream, okay? And 5G is the data anchor. 5G need to forward this data, okay, to 4G, to LTE. In this case, they can, these two nodes cannot communicate directly. So the data comes from core network to 5G, and then the 5G base station has to send back it to the uh, aggregation layer, and then go to 5G base station this way. Okay. So you can see this is an indirect path. Uh, this may cause some uh, waste of resource and it may bring more latency. Uh, now, and also, uh, for let's say these two are 5G new radio, uh, two 5G new radio, if they want to communicate, they also need to uh, go back to the aggregation layer. That is to say, this node, they cannot communicate uh, directly. So there is a indirect path. The efficiency is lower. And while when we uh, migrate to 5G, and this layer two network needs to be upgraded to layer three. It means to layer three to the edge. All the base stations can communicate directly no need to go back to the uh, aggregation layer. For example, still the same like this two one, okay, this two. Uh, then now the 5G does not need to send it back to the aggregation layer any longer, okay? So the 5G can forward it to 4G base station and directly, okay, to the terminal user. And also uh, for the 5G base station, they can communicate directly uh, with each other. And no need to go to uh, uh, aggregation any longer. So uh, we need to upgrade the transport uh, or say barrier network okay, from layer two uh, to layer three uh, to the edge. And this can uh, enhance the efficiency. And this can also facilitate the uh, deployment of the user plane, uh, UPF. Okay, uh, so this is about this uh, uh, transport network. Uh, for transport network, uh, not only uh, upgraded to layer three, uh, uh, for the transport network slicing, uh, we will use this uh, technique, uh, flex E, okay, flex E. Uh, look at this picture. Uh, here are some different services, uh, cloud VPN, B2X, okay, mobile data, IoT. And these are different services. Uh, these different services need different slice of the network. The network slice, there can be radio net radio slicing, okay, transport network slicing, and a core network slicing. Okay. For the radio network slicing, we can just uh, slice different carriers, and for the core network slicing, we can combine different functions, okay. And how about the transport network slicing uh, using this flex ease? Okay. This flex ease is a uh, TDM based. Is a hard slicing, hard slicing. We can uh, 
this uh, transport, we can separate the results into different time slots. For example, slice A give it one slot. Okay. Slice B give it uh, two slots. Okay. Slice C give it one slot. Okay. How many slots needed is just up to the requirement of bandwidth. So like this, uh, we have three types of uh, slice. Okay. EMAB slide, URLC slice, and MMTC slice uh, using different uh, uh, time slots for hard, okay. So in this case, we have three slices, uh, three slices, okay. And in each slice, uh, there can be logical uh, ID, okay, for different users, like this, service ID for different users. So uh, this is uh, how to do the slicing in transport network. Each of the slice will act as an independent subnetwork. They have their individual management plane uh, for operation and maintenance. They have their independent uh, control plane. Uh, control plane uh, is for the service management. Okay. And also data plane, also user plane uh, for data uh, transfer. Uh, as if each slide is just one individual network. Okay. Actually, it is one physical network. And logically, it can be multiple okay, networks.